So remember that film you were writing ages ago? You made it yet or what? Yeah, of course. Well, no, but I just... I'm waiting for the new series, Anamorphic Lens, to come out and then I'll be able to start casting and planning. And then finally I'll be able to shoot the film because everything will be in place to be done for it. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Les Brown's a motivational speaker. He made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? <gasps> Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Luke Jones and this is the Jonesy Express and this is where I blend the world of cars and cinema. And today I have to admit something to you guys uh, and I guess work through it and work on it. And what that is, is I have not made a film in over three years. It's like I'm aspiring to be a famous and well-known film director and filmmaker yet I'm not making films. Like why? I've actually sat and pondered on this for quite a while. And when I made my short film, gone. I even made a car crash scene without crashing any cars or using any CGI. And it kind of worked. Yes, it wasn't a big budget film. Yes, it was very simple in my first project. And to be honest, at the time, I can admit Looking back, I had no idea what I was doing, but the thing that I grasp at and focus on is that despite all that, I did it. I didn't let my own thoughts or other people stop me. Despite having zero set experience or any filmmaking experience for that matter at the time. Even now, as I'm talking to you right now in this video, I have way more film experience, set experience. I've worked on multiple sets, both small and big. I'm better with my filmmaking, my cinematography, my color grading, lighting. My lighting is way better. I'll link the video, I'll, I'll, I'll link the short film either in the description or the pop-up box, and you'll see what I mean by lighting. That I had no idea what I was doing. I even hired lights, and they're like, oh, what kind of like lighting do you want to do? I'm like, <laughs> I literally said, I don't know, I just want some lights, cuz <laughs> give me some lights. Like, I literally had no idea. But since then, my skills have 10 x minimum. But why? Why am I not making films? Why am I, why am I intimidated? Why am I put off? And I think there's a few things which I think all content creators, filmmakers, videographers, creatives suffer from. And I'm gonna run through them with you. I think one of the unconscious or conscious limiting beliefs that I have is when I was in Adelaide when I made it, I had other friends who were well-versed and were into filmmaking. Not so much filmmaking, but video editing, creation, all that kind of stuff, and they were able to help me. Whether here in Sydney, I don't really know anyone. And another, which is fucking ridiculous, because I spend hours, and I mean hours, editing YouTube videos. And that is, ah, oh, it's gonna be a waste of time. Which can be seen from many perspectives, I guess. Is from the sense, you know, let's just say from planning, script writing, uh, production schedule, filming, editing, production, everything done. You, let's say you spend like three full days, although you know what, let's say a week. Okay, then you could look at it from, oh, well, I could have spent that week going out and building my business, getting more jobs, or working, getting more money. When you've technically risked this week of time to create a short film that either no one will watch, will suck, or just may not do anything. But knowing this, the mindset change I need to have is not to worry about that because 
for some of you who know or don't know, is that a lot of my stuff that I do is cars. And I'm trying to merge, obviously, film and cars together, try and do both. And I'll do, I make a lot of car content, reels, YouTube format. And the big companies that I work with, sponsorships and brand deals that I have, I just got, I think, from making content just for fun. It all, for me, it all started with this one reel where I took an excerpt out of Parks and Recreation. And that was my first, like, as you say, viral reel that I got. Yeah, there's no way you could run that on the street in Australia, mate. Blow off valve. Put you in jail. Any form of reel poke. Jail. Catch can. Right to jail. Coil overs. Jail. Using the word race car. Right to jail. Bigger brakes. Also jail. Under cock over cock. External gate. You right to jail. Running more than 20% tint. Jail. Putting a banner on your windscreen. Jail. Aftermarket exhaust. Believe it or not, jail, right away. I thought, oh, this works, so I'll keep going and going and going. I was just making it for fun. I didn't actually expect to get anything out of it. But then I had a big automotive retail store message me on Instagram and say, hey, what's your email? We like what you do. We want to talk. I was like, what? Like at first I thought I was losing, like I wasn't <laughs> seeing what I was seeing. And then from there, it's just gone on and on and on. And it's just from creating. Now, obviously having a purpose is important, but back then I wasn't really as concerned with, you know, time being spent or whatever, which I guess is a good and a bad in itself. But now I'm really concerned with the time I'm spending and I'm not creating as much. It's okay, like planning's important, you know, what am I gonna make to target, you know, audience, community, sales, but then you also don't wanna get stuck in the mental masturbation of just planning, 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 and no action. And then you have gear, camera gear, lighting, audio, steady cams, camera rigs, lenses, red cameras, ARRI cameras. There's always going to be more gear. And I think that's another trap that we fall into is, oh, you know, I can do this project once I've got this lens because I need this lens to do this shot or I can start scheduling or planning this film or this video. But gear doesn't really matter because as we've all seen, there are some big Hollywood blockbusters that are absolute flops. It's like, this is a really cool project, but it's going to require a lot of planning and logistics. So maybe it's best if I put it off until I can get this red camera or this Sony FX6 III, whatever camera tickles your pickle. And I think that itself is another issue because number one, gear is expensive and we both know as creatives, money doesn't always flow down the channel we want it to. It usually flows out somewhere else, especially if you have cars as well. So I think that is too, is just create with what you have. There's this feature film it's called Coherence, it was shot on a Canon 5D. This camera is worth less than 4,000 Australian dollars. Yes, the lighting and the highlights were terrible. Honestly, it takes a lot to get used to. You almost want to turn it off because all the highlights are blown out and it's underexposed in some areas. But the most important thing is it has a good storyline. Yes, it takes about 15, 20 minutes to warm up and get into it, but it's good. It's pretty decent for what it is. But the other thing too is, I look at that and I think, man, like, it looks like trash, but they got it on a streaming platform. Or you look at movies that flop and you think someone paid for that. Someone invested tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars into this movie that flopped. That's shit. You know what I mean? And like, if they can do it, I can do it. You can do it. Like, it's possible. I think that is another limiting factor is like, we just, we just need to create. We just need to create something and do something. I've seen so many YouTube short films that end up going on to be big feature films on streaming platforms, in cinemas. I guess at the end of the day is yes, I'm still working on this and learning, as my shirt says, but just create, just do it. Do it! Just do it! Yes, do a bit of planning, but don't get carried away. Don't get into the mental masturbation of just planning this, planning that every fucking second of your life. Just grab your camera, go out and create. Because creating something is better than nothing. Because remember, quality comes from quantity. I have a filmmaking challenge for you. I want you to create your own short film and it has to be submitted by the 1st of August, which is less than two months. Not enough time to do a big thing, but plenty of time to do something. And I myself will do the same. I will write, produce, create, submit, upload a short film as well. But you're probably wondering, what are the requirements? 
Well, the film must be submitted no later than the 1st of August, so that it must be under seven minutes, including credits. So you can't have a seven minute film, then your credits, it's got to include your credits. You can have copyright free music, you can have copyrighted music, whatever floats your boat, and it must have the theme in it. I'm excited to get stuck into it. I hope you are too. I'll have more details on my website, which is currently being redone as we speak, but go on there anyway. The link is still active and put your email and info into the box so you don't miss a thing. Because as soon as it's live, I'll be sending out a little newsletter with everything that's happened, everything that's on there and what is going on. Thank you for watching. I really hope this has been enjoyable, resonated with you or helped you in some way. And remember guys, at the end of the day, just create.